So today I thought I would do another mummy style video because it's actually been quite a while since I've last done one and I thought I would do um, Grayson's 10 month update. So I'm a little bit like shocked that I know I shouldn't be but I actually have a child. Not only that but he's 10 months old. Like when the heck did that even happen i mean this last year has just flown by in like literally the blink of an eye i mean blink blink <laughs> and this year's gone it just got me thinking actually i might like might be a good idea just to do a bit of an update video and share with you guys if anyone's interested what my kids like at 10 months so here we go so in terms of like weight and measurements i have no idea how tall he is in like measurements term but he's pretty much growing out of all his clothes like lightning speed which i'm told is pretty normal and um, he probably i think he weighs about 10 kg now so not exactly light you know he's, he's got he's a bit of a chunk but look like a fat baby he's i would i like to think he looks quite athletic but then i'm his mother so probably best not to take my my judgment on these things because what do i know he has also got four, no, five teeth now. The one down here at the bottom just came through yesterday, I believe. So he's got five teeth. Um, these bottom ones have been giving him quite a bit of trouble. You can see the two on the other side just wanting to come through as well. Um, but as they've been coming through at the bottom, his mouth has been really sore. He's been really grinding his teeth together, which is horrible. Um, so we're constantly like shoving the teething ring in his mouth and he's also been um, grinding it and picking at his gums a lot so he's ended up getting a few sort of like little ulcers which we're really sad about um, and I gave I went to the chemist about it and they suggested just using like the baby bond gel there with like cow modular version as well so like that teething gel so we've been using loads of that with him um, and yeah, so hopefully soon you'll be able to tear through them chicken bones in no time at all. <laughs> so we are entering very new territory for us. The kid is on the move. Yes, people, he's on the move. So he is able to crawl, but it's not like a proper on all fours sort of crawl. It's more of a army, very, very quick army crawl, like shuffling on his belly kind of thing which is really funny to watch because he moves at lightning speed across the room. So yeah, we are now looking at moving everything up from baby height to like that bit higher now because we actually have to start baby proofing the house. He's also able to stand up, which is something he has been able to like, on his own. Um, he's been doing that in the last week. So he can pull himself up into standing all by himself. He did it for the very first time in his cot yesterday and then last week he's been crawling over to the couch and using that as like a bit of a support to stand up and I was like whoa totally blown away it's like you go boy god son so I feel really proud of him for all these little milestones that he's hitting in terms of his food and weaning we're still going through the process he has had pretty much every food group now um I don't know if there's anything apart from honey that he hasn't really eaten he's had Pretty much every meat, fish, we gave him a bit of peanut butter, he's had everything, um, even to my dismay, chocolate cake as a nursery thought was a good idea to give him. I was just like, hey, he's 10 months, 10 months, chocolate cake, uh-uh. He's incredibly inquisitive at the moment. He really wants to touch and, you know, experience every single thing. Um, like if I'm doing something, whether it's eating, watering the plants, or putting something in a cupboard, he wants to, wants to do it too he wants to see what's going on and has to know everything which is really sweet because it shows that you know he's obviously beginning to um, recognize and experience the world outside of himself and you know things are really interesting to him we're trying to teach him how to you know, be gentle because he's a bit rough sometimes and he's been got into this really annoying habit of headbutting everyone and just you know you think you're having a lovely cuddle and it's a ruse so he could just not you just ugh, it really hurts <sighs> I, I, if anyone has any tips to get your child to stop headbutting it's a bit of a weird one i've never seen any of other kids do this before but yeah if you have any tips on this please do let me know 
So Grayson's sleep pattern at 10 months is pretty good actually. Um, I'd say he goes during the day, he has two to three naps, which is great. And usually at least one of them is a pretty long nap. So I'm able to get a few things done around the house while he has a little sleep. However, at night time, it's a little bit hit and miss. Over the last couple of weeks, he hasn't felt very well. He's had a bit of a viral sort of chest infection and he's been really coughing and waking himself up a lot in the night, bless him. So sleep's been a bit hit and miss. I think when he doesn't have a cough, he's feeling okay. For the most part, he does sleep through the night. We just put him in his cot and he'll go to sleep by himself. It's actually easier doing it that way than trying to sort of give him a cuddle and shush him to sleep now, which is a massive turnaround because for a really long time we were just, we kind of weren't sure if he'd ever get the hang of going to sleep by himself in his cot. And you know, a bit of perseverance and he did and it is so much easier for everyone all round, but he does that now. So, nursery. I mentioned earlier that he's at nursery and they gave him chocolate cake. Mm. But yes, he goes to nursery now and he's there one day a week. Um, the other two days he is with my grandparents and other childcare arrangements. So yeah, he is enjoying nursery. I think he is really, really enjoying being around other children. He finds it really thrilling and exciting. And they're able to stimulate him so much more throughout the day, I reckon, than I probably can. Um, he's constantly doing things, whether it's painting or playing in water or in eating sand out of the sand pit or whatever he's doing, he's having the best time. At the end of the day, when he comes home from nursery, he is absolutely filthy, which for me is a really positive sign that he has just had the best time. Usually a bit stinky. The other day he had sardines, tea, and he came home. I was like, holy more it, the fish, Ooh. but I think he loves it. So that is pretty much it. I think that's everything for Grayson's 10 month update. I promise not to leave it so long. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do one at 11 months. I think the next update will be 12 months, it'll be a year when he's one. Um, and hopefully I'll do them maybe a bit more like every three months, because I feel like this between six and 10 months is quite a long time. I should have done one before. But thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! This filming this video is going so well. Water break.